and I have the privilege of performing this ceremony today on behalf of Nathan and Alodia. So family and friends, Nathan and Alodia will not be the only ones responding to your vows today. I have some vows to ask all of you. Your response to these vows is we do. Do you promise to take as many pictures from your seated position as you like, but to be discreet and respectful to the photographer and the videographer who Nathan and Daya hired to document their special day. 
We do. We do. Do you promise to set your mobile devices to silent mode as not to interrupt Nathan and Alabaya's special day? We do. Nathan, that means you too. Do you promise to have an amazing time at this wedding by laughing, crying, and smiling throughout this entire afternoon and evening? We do. Amazing. So with that, what do you say we get these two married? Yes. 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 and Nathan stand together he, uh, today under the hopa to exchange their wedding vows. In the Jewish tradition, the hopa represents the home that the bride and groom will now share as a new family with four open walls as a symbol of hospitality and open-heartedness to community. What they're really trying to say is that you can just drop off anytime. <laughs> today we are here to celebrate love. We come together to witness and proclaim the joining together of these two persons in marriage. This is the union of two individuals in heart, body, mind, and spirit. Therefore, marriage is not to be entered into lightly, but reverently, honestly, and deliberately. And it is into this union that Nathan and Alvaya come now to be joined together. Jasmine Cavanaugh, Alvaya's friend, will now come and be the blessing. Greetings. Um, to make this blessing more powerful, I want all of you to participate with me. This includes those attending on Zoom. Zoom attendants, please take a moment to locate north, east, south, and west in your homes. It doesn't have to be exact, <laughs> approximate is fine. So when I gesture to a direction, I want all of you to gesture with me. That's the participation. So what that means is all you have to do is simply open your hand and place your face your palm to that direction. Okay? <laughs> yes. Okay, let us begin. Family and friends. Today we ask the infinite light of the divine to shine upon this union. In that spirit, we offer a blessing to this ceremony. Blessed be this marriage with the gifts of the East. New beginnings that come each day with the rising sun, communication of the heart, mind, body, and soul. Blessed be this marriage with the gifts of the South. The light of the heart, the heat of passion, and the warmth of a loving home. Blessed be this marriage with the gifts of the West. The rushing excitement of a raging river. The soft and pure cleansing of a rainstorm. And a commitment as deep as the ocean itself. Blessed be this marriage with the gifts of the North. A solid foundation on which to build your lives abundance and growth of your home, and stability to be found by holding one, of the, one another at the end of the day. Elodia and Nathan, these four simple blessings will help you on your journey that begins today. However, they are only tools. They are tools which you must use together to create the light, the strength, the infinite energy, now and forever, of a love you both so richly deserve. Blessed be. And you can all say blessed be as well. Blessed, blessed be. be. <laughs> Fire is believed by many to represent passion and purity. It is also associated with the security of home and family, as the warmth of the heart and the home fires. We kindle this light in harmony with all that is good in life. Its dancing flames symbolize the beauty and vitality of the love that has brought Nathan and Alodaya here today, which will enrich and sustain their lives throughout the years ahead. 
the parents of the bride and groom will now light the outside candles representing the light of Aludaya and Nathan as their individual selves and as symbols of each of their families who are now joining together. Parents, please rise. Father of the groom will light the other candle. chosen to come together to join your unique light into an even brighter and richer warmth. By lighting this candle, you commit to sharing your lives, your families, your hearth, and your home together. chosen each other to be your partner? Will you love and respect each other? Will you be honest with each other always? Will you stand by each other through whatever may come? We will. We do. other for your wedding today has been your wedding rings. The wedding ring is a symbol of the vows taken here today, a circle of wholeness, perfect in form. The unending circle of a ring is a sign of fidelity, the pledge faithfulness of a couple to each other. These rings mark the beginning of an unending journey together, filled with wonder and surprises, laughter and tears, celebration and joy. May these rings glow in the warmth and happiness of you both today. There may be times filled with happiness, sorrow, tears, or laughter. Whatever it may be, remember love has given you wings. Your journey begins today. Nathan and Alodaya, if there is anything you remember of this marriage ceremony, remember the love that brought you here today. It is only love which can make your marriage a glorious union, and it is by love that your marriage will endure. Nathan, as you say these vows to Aladaya, slip rings on the third finger of the left hand. Ready? In the presence of these, our family and friends. In the presence of these, our family and friends. I, Nathan, do take you, Aladaya. I, Nathan, do take you, Alodia. To be my wife. To be my wife. My partner. My partner. And friend. And friend. To join my life with yours. To join my life with yours. To share with you all that is to be. To share with you all that is to be. To laugh with you in joy. To laugh with you in joy. To comfort you in sorrow. To comfort you in sorrow. To grow with you in love. To grow with you in love. I will honor you. I will honor you. I will be faithful to you. I will be faithful to you. All the days of my life, this is my sacred vow. All the days of my life, this is my sacred vow. Lodia, 
<laughs> As you say these vows to Nathan, slip the ring on the third finger of the left hand. <laughs> You never mind what I call her, you know that's the wife. <laughs> okay. In the presence of these are family and friends. In the presence of these are family and friends. I, Elodia. I, Elodia. Take you, Nathan. Take you, Nathan. To be my husband. To be my husband. My partner and my friend. My partner and my friend. To join my life with yours. To join my life with yours. To share with you all that is to be. To share with you all that is to be. To laugh with you in joy. To laugh with you in joy. To comfort you in sorrow. To comfort you in sorrow. To grow with you in love. To grow with you in love. I will honor you. I will honor you. I will be faithful to you. I will be faithful to you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. This is my sacred vow. This is my sacred vow. Nathan and Elodia, we have heard your promise to share your lives in marriage. We recognize and respect the covenant you have made here today. By the power vested in me by the state of California, it is my honor and delight to declare you married. You may kiss your bride. <laughs> We conclude this ceremony with the breaking of the glass. This is a joyful ceremony, and some people at a wedding ceremony wonder, what does that mean? The frailty of glass suggests the frailty of human relationships. Even as the bride and groom strengthen their relationship through marriage, they must remember the care required to maintain their bond as they go through life together. The glass is broken to protect the marriage with the implied prayer. May your bond of love be as difficult to break as it would be to put together the pieces of this glass. And of course, the breaking of the glass marks the beginning of your celebration. As the groom breaks the glass, I invite everyone to shout Mazel Tov, which means congratulations and good luck.
Oh, it's Brian, uh, the magic oh, mirror. Oh, that, that was Brian. Yeah, <laughs> magic <Yeah>. mirror. <laughs> oh, and tap. Yeah. Tatiana, hey. Cool, oh All my right. gosh. Wow. It's so good to see everybody. Thanks everybody and for coming. Thank you for joining us yeah. and being a part of our day. We're just, we feel you here and we wish we could all have you in person, but we feel your love from all the way wherever you are. And thank you so much, Miriam. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you for waiting. Yes, um, thank some, you for uh, your patience. Had, thank you for your patience and <laughs> the technical difficulties. <laughs> Th thanks, Sarah. Aww. All right. I want to see the, some of the messages. Oh, yeah. So what's next? Um, hopefully drinks, more drinks <laughs> for everyone. <laughs> Drinks and snacks. Non alcoholic, non -alcoholic yeah. for me mostly. And, Maybe I'll like uh, sneak a little sip in there. And dinner. Oh, there's Brittany. Hi, cousin. Thank you for joining us. <laughs> we'll do, Jane. All right. Oh, there's Alex. Oh yes, yes, Alex earlier. Yeah. Hi. Did you see Millie? I did. Yeah. yeah cool. Millie. Lauren, right. and oh, Lauren's Nick. there. I've seen you in forever. Wait, let's see the new bling on there. <laughs> Here's the new bling. Oh, oh yes, I'm bling. Here's our bling. <laughs> so. They're gonna be dancing shoes. <laughs> Come on up, front and center, y'all. <laughs> you don't have to announce the name, everybody knows the song. I'm sure you'll know this yeah.
tonight. Um, what I wanted to do, um, I, I have two blessings I want to offer. The second one is to Nate and Elodia. Um, the first one is um, a Jewish tradition of, of, of a blessing that we say when we're experiencing something new or we're starting something new or there's something different or just about every chance we get to say it. Um, and it's called the Shehekianu. And the, the wording, just so you know what, we're, what some of us are going to say, the wording is, uh, blessed are you, our Lord, our God, a creator of the universe, uh, for, for creating us, for sustaining us, and for bringing us to this very special moment. So I'll ask those who can join me with this. Baruch Ata Adonai, Elohim, Melech, Olam, Shehekianu, Yamanu, Yamanu, Lazman, Hazeh. So, Elodie and me. Jennifer and I are delighted beyond words um, to, that you found each other and that you got married today. It's just a wonderful thing for us. Clearly you love each other and you understand that all the energy and effort of marriage requires of you is what makes your relationship so, so precious and so special. And I have a theory that a loving, committed relationship such as yours is the third most powerful bond known to humans. Now hear me out. Marriage is a unique and a visceral commitment and a co covenant that you keep one day at a time and year after year you earn your anniversary each year, without a doubt. The bond between parents and their children is very different and I would suggest stronger, especially when your children are young as you're about to learn, God willing. But my theory, which mom and I are eager to test, is that the bond between grandparents and their grandchildren <laughs> tops the list. <laughs> And we thought, it just, we thought about just asking Lita and Efren for their advice on this, but we really, really, really want to try this ourselves. So. <laughs> I want to make two observations um, tonight about, uh, as Nate's dad, uh, both of them come from the Hebrew phrase, door of a door, from generation to generation. Because in fact, that is very much what today is all about, the cycle of life. We're celebrating your marriage and we're honoring, honoring the generations who came before and the generations who will follow. Jennifer and I are one week shy of 40 years since we met on a trip up to Vermont. And at our wedding 37 years ago, my parents were celebrating, had just celebrated their 40th anniversary. And so for us, this is a great sense of, of time moving forward in a wonderful way. Um, and I remembered, um, you know, that, that as I thought about tonight, and I thought about today, and I thought about you getting married, and I tried, to, I tried to imagine what it was like for my parents 37 years ago, I had no idea. I had absolutely no idea. But I did remember that, um, that, that, that getting ready for the wedding, my dad and I had what I can only describe as a moment. And I didn't really know it was a moment, but it was a, we didn't say anything to each other, but it was a time when we just stared at each other and felt this intense something. Um, and, um, and, I had no idea what the meaning was of that moment or what it felt like until today. And now I understand something about what it feels like when your son gets married and your family both shrinks and grows. And it shrinks because, you, because Nate's primary family commitment is Elodia and their family together. And it grows because the Pinsky and the Lunar families are joined together and I love how it all feels. This past Wednesday would have been my dad's 100th birthday. And so the timing of this wedding could not be more significant in our family. Though they were 70 years apart in age, Grandpa and Nate shared much, much, much more than DNA. They understood each other before Nate had words. They got each other's jokes and made each other laugh, and they made the rest of us laugh with them. No one else saw things quite like, he, like, my, like Grandpa did, like my dad did, or expressed them quite so idiosyncratically. He was crazy like a fox, and he was, to be honest, a nut. He loved, a few examples, he loved the Georgetown University basketball team so much that when they won, we, everyone in the family, an extended family, usually got emails filled with a single word repeated many, many times. The word referring to the Georgetown motto was Hoya. The good guys win would be his reference line for the email. Then. Hoya, 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 Really, for pages. And some of you know that Nate has a tattoo on his arm that reads Hoya, Hoya, Hoya. And when I see that tattoo for a long time now, I thought, Grandpa, Nathan, Grandpa. 
And on the morning Nate turned 18, Grandpa mustered his most grandfatherly gravitas before he asked Nathan, I actually called you Nathan, remember? Nathan, now that you're 18, what are you going to do to make people like you? <laughs> and we laughed as hard as we always do. And what I'm trying to explain is just how meaningful and good it is to me that Nate warmed Elodia's heart earlier in the, rela early in the relationship by talking about Grandpa. He showed her that family means everything to him, just as we know it does to her. Elodia, if those grandpa stories did not scare you away, your relationship and your marriage is on solid ground. <laughs> Strange ground, but solid ground. <laughs> and so Jennifer and I want to say to you both today, we hope you'll trust the ground that you stand on together. We hope you'll trust who you are, trust where you came from, Trust what you're made of, trust what your families gave to you, and trust how you got here. And trust each other always. I think you both know that your life together will surprise you at some times. I hope you'll hold tight to each other, go to each other to celebrate, and when you have nothing to say. Turn to each other when you're scared and uncertain, and when you're thriving and sure. What Jennifer and I wish for you, above all, is good health, a long, happy life together, and love. Lots and lots of love. I, I said to you both the other night at dinner that what makes me know that you belong together is how completely and joyfully Nate has become his full self since he met you over here. And that is the second point I want to make. Grandpa, Nate, and I share the great blessing of finding partners who make us better people, more complete people, more fulfilled people from generation to generation, door by door, or as grandma always said, the nuts don't fall far from the tree. <laughs> so please, let me, please lift your glass with me. Thank you. As we say to Nate and Elodia, Bahayam to life. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I have to like look at my glass really carefully. Like, is it my turn? Like yes. <laughs> yes. Connor, it is your turn. Come on up, Dad, Mom. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, Good evening everyone. So what we're going to do, I will start talking first and then we will do the rest. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. Okay. Good evening. Welcome family and friends. We are very happy for being part of this special occasion. The wedding of our daughter, Alodia, and our son-in-law, yeah. Nate. Yeah. Yes, my son-in-law. <laughs> for those who do not know us, my name is Lida the mother of the bride, and this is... Efren, father of the bride. Yes, father of the bride. So... Okay. Don't I, cry. I'm good, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, not yet. <laughs> Congratulations, Nate and Dia, you found true love. So Nate, welcome to the family. Now we will do the rest. <laughs> the hard part. The hard part. <laughs> well, uh, we welcome each and everyone for being here with Nate and Dia's wedding, and including those who are watching. Are we still in Zoom? <laughs> no more? Oh, thank you. <laughs> Well, anyway, uh, to continue with the uh, Jewish tradition, I would like to add something. I never heard the word charging those blessings. But anyway, I will, I will try to add that up. Uh, it's been with me for a long time. I've been researching Jewish traditions, much especially the spiritual sides of the Jewish religion. Anyway, it's all. Uh, 
阿爸，同你讲，系耶和华。Ele ele 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 no ele rei, mas não se pode superar. Nós trocamos com a lá, Deus é Deus, o Deus, a lá Deus é Deus, Jesus Tanatos, o Sol e mais o Tioga, e o Adonai Sada e o Monsenhor Alpha e o Mega, o Monsenhor Alpha e o Mega é Jeová. This is the church of most of the lost traditions of the Jewish. Way back when, uh, I have something more to give to each and every to share with you, but I will give that especially to the writing group later on because I know your family is Jewish, and my tradition also is Jewish, so I'm not just a Catholic, I am. A strongly believer of Jewish religions in mysticism. So, Nate, you make a good impression on me. <laughs> and we love you. We would like to welcome you very, very much to our family. And you will learn a lot from our traditions, it's unbelievable, you know, some of our language also. <laughs> so, thank you very much. There's a lot of things about what the um, has done in life, but at early age of two, she starts singing already. So it continues up to this day. So again, thank you, French. becoming one of our panelists and thank you very much. Thank you. Who would like to propose a toast? Thank you very much. And Dia? In your day. Happy wedding. Thank you for the lovely toast, parents, parents and laws. It was very beautiful. I would like to announce that the paella is ready. The paella has been cooking uh, since we got here. It's ready now. Uh, the paella will be served in the traditional style, which is straight from the paella pans. I'm sure you saw them outside cooking. So if you would like to take your plates, your large plates, and make your way to the paella uh, chef. <laughs> outside, he is ready to uh, he is ready to greet you and serve you. Maybe Nate and Dia should go first. Yay! Yay. Lead the way. We will follow you closely. Hi. Where's your paella? This paella. This paella. This is vegetarian. Yeah. And that's. So we'll eat. Okay. So I'll Mixed? start. Mixed. Yeah. Solomio vegetarian. Okay. I'll do the. I'll do the solomio and a little bit of the paella. Perfect. <laughs> That's good. I, I like that. I don't know that much. Welcome. Alright. But I have mostly vegetarian. Okay. Like a little bit more? Uh I'll wait for now. But could I have just one one piece of salami? You gotta try. Yeah, I gotta try one, it. One piece. One piece. Maybe one more lemon. Maybe one more lemon. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. I wrote as many of you know, but I think actually as many of you maybe don't even know 
My dearest big brother is a huge math nerd. <laughs> like he what? really, really loves math. He studied it in college. He was a math teacher. When he was in high school, he picked his ultimate Frisbee jersey number just because the number had cool properties. <laughs> I could go on and on. Wow. <laughs> um, it is and has been for as long as I can remember an important part of how he understands the world um, and how he makes sense of things. How do I know this, you might ask? The way that any good little sister knows anything. When I was little, I snuck into his room and read through his notebooks. <laughs> and what stands out in my memory, you have no idea what I'm talking about. <laughs> this is a revelation. What stands out in my memory, from what I found, is a proof that he had written. And a proof, for anyone that isn't familiar, is basically a method used in mathematics where you like prove some statement using other proven statements. So like if X is true, then Y. Don't fact check me on that. <laughs> so you have to account for all possible cases in order to come to a conclusion with certainty. And he used this method, which he was probably learning in seventh or eighth grade geometry at the time, to deduce whether a girl liked him. <laughs> I'm, I'm not positive, but I'm pretty sure that's not something all 13-year-old boys do. <laughs> anyway, back then I had to sneak in and read what was in his notebooks because he was a teenager and he was way too cool for me. But in my adulthood, Nathan has become one of my closest friends and biggest supporters. He is devoted, earnest, and loving. And I don't have to snoop anymore because he actually talks to me now. <laughs> So at some point, several months into their relationship, Nathan and Elodia had the commitment talk. You know, like, let's be sure we're on the same page about where this is headed kind of thing. And he called me feeling torn about what to say to Elodia because um, he was in love with her, that was for sure. He could imagine a future, even kids with her, that was easy. But in his mind, he couldn't account for every possible future scenario. And so he was afraid of saying something that might someday, possibly, maybe, turn out not to be true. In other words, he wanted a proof to show with absolute certainty that they would have a future together. And if that's not commitment, I don't know what is. <laughs> I assured him that that's not exactly how these things work that he was not actually on the hook for all possible future scenarios, and his level of certainty was pretty much as much as anyone ever has. And I told him that sometimes you just have to make the best possible decision with the information that you have available to you in the moment. So with that in mind, here's what I wish for you two in your life together. That you always love each other so devotedly and with such commitment to doing right by one another, that you never take each other or your relationship for granted, but also that you embrace a proofless life, <laughs> <laughs> that you lean on each other in times of uncertainty and work together to always make the best decision you can with the information you have available. Nathan, you have so much love and affection and silliness and joy to give and you are just made to be a husband and a father and I'm so excited for you in this next chapter. Elodia, thank you for loving my brother. Nathan, thank you for giving me such a wonderful sister and family-in-law. I love you both. Cheers. So, most of you know, if you don't know, I am Melodia's second sister, number three in the Lunar family. Um, and if you don't know, I have a lot of um, social anxiety. So this this is huge for me. <laughs> um, so you know the saying that all things happen for a reason. 
whether it was the right roads that were taken or the wrong ones, the paths that we all take have contributed to our life experiences. Along and along Nate and Elodia's journey to today, they both have had experiences and adventures that have both helped shape them into two extraordinary people. Two extraordinary people that have managed to find their way together to make an extraordinary couple. The first time I heard about Nate, I thought to myself, this guy has got to be too good to be real. <laughs> I thought, who is this guy that can keep up with my sister, with all of her arts and crafts, her love of dancing and music, who loves seafood, and who can connect with her on a level and overall get along with our family. He has to be too good to be true, right? Yeah. <laughs> the first time me and my sister met Nate, we went to the homeroom, a restaurant in Oakland, and they're known for their mac and cheese. More bonus points to Mr. Nate, the guy who enjoys cheese as much as me and my sisters love cheese. <laughs> I recall um, my sisters leaving the table for a moment and I was able to chat for Nate for a few minutes. I recall asking him what were his intentions with my sister. <laughs> I'm very straightforward. <laughs> and he replied, not in his exact words, but that his intentions were pure and he cared for my sister very much and would do whatever it took to make her happy. Bonus points. <laughs> This brief conversation made me see how good of a person Nate really is. And since that day and all the time he has spent with our family, he has shown and proven himself to be the best person for my sister. So to Jennifer and Mark, thank you for having such an amazing son, whom I officially get to call my brother-in-law and a part of our family. To Nate, thank you for being you. But ultimately, thank you for loving my sister. I think we can all agree that this is the happiest we've ever seen Elodia. Am I right? Yeah. Right. I honestly, she blows every day. <laughs> to my big sister, Dia. Hi, Dia. I am so happy you found someone that you can keep up with you. <laughs> this is why I brought the paper. <laughs> I'm so happy you found your lifelong partner that I can have endless adventures with, go dancing with, have late night seafood feasts with, and an endless lifetime of happiness with. So everyone please raise your glasses. Cheers to Nate and Elodia for taking all the right roads to get to here today and finding their way to each other. I wish you two the lo all the love and happiness for the rest of your days. Cheers to the newlyweds. Cheers. 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 <laughs> all right, if I can have Darian up here, please. Darian, if you didn't know, is the youngest of the Lunar siblings, separated by 10 years of the youngest sister, Jenna. He's a young one, y'all. Hello, everyone. My name is Darian. Uh, the youngest of the Lunar siblings, Dia's not so little brother. Uh, I just want to say the congratulations to Dia and Nate. Uh, I'm happy that you both have found each other and have grown as a couple. Um, my family and I are happy to have witnessed this intimate union. Uh, what an amazing couple you have become. Adidia, as your brother, I wish only the best for you, and I believe you have found a caring and supportive partner. Uh, Nate, welcome to the family, and you you better take care of my sister. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. Last of all, I am very excited to meet the newest member of our family. Yeah. Yes. Uh, it's a toast to Dia and Nate. The second of the Lunar siblings, directly under my sister Dia. Um, we are so excited that you all are here today, and we are so excited that the both of you are joining, have joined today to bring all of us together. Um, everyone in this room has participated in your lives and brought you two together, and we are so happy that we have witnessed 
all that you have been, all that you are today, and all that you will be in the future. We are so excited for this little baby, and maybe more babies and cousins to come for my kids, <laughs> and Janora, who's asleep over there in the back. Um, I am gonna keep it short and sweet because we've had some really amazing speeches today, and um, you guys have seen a lot of me, but uh, just, we're so happy. I'm so happy for you both, and if I don't stop talking, I'm gonna cry, even though I haven't said too much. But we appreciate, we appreciate, we appreciate you. Um, thank you, Nate, for being here for my sister from now until forever. And our family is so happy to have you, the Pinskys. You all are so amazing. We are so lucky to have you in our family. And like I said, I'm about to cry, so I'm gonna stop. <laughs> Congratulations Yay! to the writing room, everyone. To the writing room. Yay! Oh, yay! And if I can have um, Adedia and Nate come on up, we will do the cake cutting. Right. Oh, um, so before we cut the cake, we just want to say thank you to everybody that's here tonight, our families, our friends, our closest friends are here. Um, this has been such a magical night, and we're just so thankful and grateful for all of your presence and your love, and we just, we just couldn't be more happy and grateful to have such a great community of family and friends. So um, we want to thank, oh gosh, there's too many people to thank, but you know, Jonna for all of the organizing, and Yamina for baking this cake. Um, to all of the kids for for everything they've done, walking down the aisle, carrying the rings, and the flower girls, um, Claire and Alicia for all your help um, setting up and just for being there through this whole process and just for all of your support. Um, just to my entire family, mom, dad, thank you for all of your support and Jennifer and Mark. Um, Jennifer and Mark hosted a wonderful um, rehearsal dinner for us last night. So we just are so grateful for everyone. Thank you, Mike, for introducing us. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, we wouldn't be here without you. So we just thank you so much. And the Flemings came all the the Fleming Morenos came all the way down yeah. up from LA. Um, we're just so grateful for for all of you. So. Um, what, what can I say that hasn't been said? <laughs> um, we are so, so grateful um, for all of you for being here tonight, um, sharing sharing in this love, and for being with us in for our whole lives, um, and, and bringing us to this point, um, supporting us and letting us do that. And uh, we really look forward to the rest of our lives and sharing them uh, with each other and with you continuing.